name yeah. is Jose. This is uh, Jermaine. Nasty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, you took me you, back with that one a little bit. I thought he was going to go to you first. I was like, all right, cool. Let me burp in my mouth. And instead he pointed at me. I'm like, uh, uh, burp, Jermaine. Anyway, this is yeah. James. And I have one question for you. Yeah. Burp in your mouth? Like, where else would it go? You don't burp. You don't burp out of your, your ears. Mouth, if your mouth is open, it burps. It doesn't burp in your mouth. It burps outside your mouth. But you said in your mouth. So it, yeah. So that I mean, sounds would, like you tried to stop. You know what? Okay, it, I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna defend him mouth. on this one yeah. because sometimes you do burp out of your nose, like when you hold it and then it comes out of your nose. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but that's just a sneeze with some odor to it. But like I said, but it's burping. Yes. You could also burp out of your mouth because you know. Or, but you didn't or, say mm-hmm. out of your mouth. You mm-hmm. said in your mouth. Yeah, I was, saying I was gonna burp in my mouth. I was saying I was gonna keep my mouth closed so I didn't make noise. But thanks for pointing that out, James. Asshole. I mean, actually, to be fair, if you had the ability to burp out of your ears, I kind of would have liked to have seen that. Is that like a superpower that we don't know of? I feel like you could do that. Are we, are we stealing from the boys again? Well, because you that- can blow, you can blow out of your ear, no? Kind of, right? Maybe? Like, I like, don't think that's like, how that works. You know, when people smoke cigarettes or like they're smoking a doobie or something, like you can. I don't, you can I get don't know smoke enough to about it. How often ears? have you witnessed this? I've never seen this unless it was a cartoon character. Uh, honestly, to be quite honest, now oh, yeah, that you when say when that, I, get I think really that's mad. Correct. When I get really mad, you just see the. Yeah. yeah now, now I know why I kept you down. I forget how much louder you are when we start recording as opposed to when we're testing. <laughs> I forget that. <laughs> I'm also using a different mic. So you I'm might, you. you might. That has nothing to do with the mic. <laughs> that has everything to do with it. You might be ridiculously louder, but anyways, all right. So before we continue our rants, yeah. If you've listened to any of our previous podcasts, we kind of, you know, pick a certain, I guess, pop culture subject, some yeah. pop culture, mostly nerdy shit like DC or Marvel or yeah. video game crap, and we try to fix it. But this one, I think we're just gonna kind of take a. We're Take a seat back. Our, we're gonna relax, and we're just gonna talk about. I guess we're gonna let our dick hang and see what happens. If you guys want to tuck on it, it's you know. See, maybe we'll do this again. See, nice. and this is why I argued we should have had the webcam on. Yes. So that way we could add the visual component. No, I th- I think in our case, especially, especially James. Let's be honest. I think we should let the listener use their imagination. Okay, we've, <laughs> we've been on camera before. It's not like oh, we've never seen these people before. They've never seen our dicks. But to oh. be, <laughs> <laughs> but well, to be fair. There might be some videos out of me that I don't know about, but yeah. I was trying to finish that thought, but <laughs> you got me on that one. No, I was gonna, I was gonna say, uh, uh, they, uh, the the viewers have not seen me in quite quite some time, so right. Uh, you know, yeah, last, what was right. the last time you were on camp? Was it the Mortal but, Kombat finale? No, it was. Where, wasn't he there for the fight? Were you there for the for the Kingdom Hearts? Or was Final, was, Final Fantasy was the last one? But never, that was me and you. Me yeah, and you that was just me and you. That was right. You never did Final That's Fantasy. That's right. Well because, well, because of COVID, unfortunately, I do not look as glorious as I used to. Oh, so. None of us do. He looks so, even better. Yeah. yeah. I uh, fuck him. Only, would only, you fuck him? Uh, I'd fuck him. I wouldn't fuck him. Uh, I was going to say, only, I would let him fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, only if you shoot from, like, you know, shoulders up. Everything well, below the waist well, is even know, that's, better. That's what we like to call. That's what we like to call the hot zone. Yeah, Ooh. I was just like, well, you two been on a date already, so there's that. We've been on several dates. Oh, yes. you guys have been on several dates. That's yes. right. <laughs> what he's referring to is we've, we've gone to concerts together. I like. No, I was like, no. Let me let me add some context to that. Uh, my uh, Jose has taken James out to concerts, but then taken him to dinner beforehand, paid for everything, and whispered sweet nothings in his ear. So we get hungry. So what? <laughs> So I lie a little bit. Go figure. <laughs> Just you. I feel like I feel like you should have like a hey baby if you're listening. Trust me, now that happened. Like is, it, it needs to be like one of those. This would be the time. <laughs> to have, this would be the time to have Jamie here, but Jamie's not here. Oh yeah, Jamie's not here. Monica, aka Monica. Um. Yeah. Anyway, where, okay. Where, okay, where so did you guys get that Jamie thing? What is that from? That's from Joe Rogan. So Joe Rogan yeah. has his guy that he's had for a long time that looks up everything on the computer and brings it up on the screen. Uh-huh. That like, 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 oh, bring up that video. That's Jamie. His name is Jamie. Oh. So that's why they'll see the whole time. I think we were referring to another girl too. I hate that. Like, no, because it's a Triple J no. show, so we have to give her a name that starts with yeah. J. And Jamie was but convenient because that that's a it, pop yeah. culture reference. Wouldn't that make it like a quadruple J then? Yes. But then if she's not always here, so then we can't use. We're always Triple J. For sure. For oh. sure. James, Jose, and Jermaine. And there's going to be some of you that are, aren't educated or cultured out there. And no, Jose does not start with an H. It's a J. <laughs> no one. Does people do people think Yes, of like, course no, they do. Really? I, I, I think I've so. I've never met anyone. There's a word. I think there's, there's a still word. people, because we live in Southern California, so the people are used to it. But there's no. some parts of the world that they don't think. I went to a they... restaurant the other day, and the person was calling out for uh, Hamil. I'm like, mm-hmm. does she mean Jamil? 
like Jamal or no uh, Jamil. The Jamil. name was is Jamil. It was pretty obvious it was Jamil. Oh okay. But they said Hamil, Hamil, because uh, it was the J. And they well, thought yeah, because they used Spanish. to because we're in Southern California. And I was like, no, that's that's pretty sure that's and yeah, it was Jamil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's just you know because we live in Southern California, so you're expecting things to be you know Spanglish. Well, yeah. Haynes and Hermaine. Yeah, <laughs> yours yours is a little weird. Yeah. Well, no, but well, like in Spanish, it is had mine. Yeah. Well, yeah. I was gonna say, well, in in I was gonna say, well, in Spanish, like it's just you know, eventually, because I work in a kitchen, so like yes. eventually, it stops being James and it's just Jaime, and I just have just grown to accept yes. it. He works at, which actually doesn't doesn't just to, translate want, directly because Jamie is actually Jaime. Right. Not James, which is weird. I just want to point out that people die in James's place, so don't go eat at his restaurant. Do they really shut up? <laughs> people die there, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, where do you, where do you work? <laughs> uh okay, so to clarify on that, let's uh-huh. put an asterisk on that. I work in a senior living facility. By the oh, way, this okay. by the way, this that's is a right, new job. That's right. Yeah, that's right. By the way, that's this right. is a new job. If he was um, referring to our old job, Technically, people still died. That's true. That is people true. People still die there. Yes. People still die there. That is true. It used to be an airport. So yes, people <laughs> die at airports. Wait, what all is the time. it now? What do you think it is? Ooh, definitely, definitely the Pornhub distributing center. So I have a feeling that. Uh, so I have a feeling that there's a secret dungeon at my work because. Uh, when you go to like the where go- they keep old people and kill them? No, let him explain. Let him. Oh, okay. maybe he actually maybe, but let all him right, explain. Right, hold on, hold on. So, so here's the thing. So, uh, so I started this new job, um, and basically at this point, I'm just I'm just a prep slash line cook, um, just starting position. Um, but every time I make something, they always say, "Oh, make a little extra for the for the downstairs kitchen." Mind you, when you see the building, it's only two stories. But they keep telling me there's a third story. So it's clearly not on top. And I have never met anybody who is staffed the bottom floor. I've never met this. I've never seen this other kitchen. I've never met these people. But apparently this is where they put all like the high risk uh, elderly people. So I'm like, I'm like, what is happening right now? Like, is there a dungeon? Is there straight up like a dungeon? And they're just feeding them through like a slot? Like, are they in solitary? What Dude, is you going- might need to blow the whistle, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you might need to call somebody. Low key, <laughs> low key man. Like, <laughs> there's there's some weird shit going on there. But also, uh, yeah, some of, some of the other things that happened to me at my job was uh, uh, people. <laughs> so old people don't care. If you work at a senior living facility, the old people don't care. Somebody walked up to me on my first day and said, hey, can I get a cup of coffee? I don't know who this man is, Mm -hmm. whatever. He just Mm -hmm. walks up to me, elderly man, says, can I get a cup of coffee? So I go, uh, I was on break at the time, but I went, "Uh, I'll talk to somebody. It's my first day. I don't know where anything is. So I go to the kitchen and I'm like, hey, this because we're supposed to call them guests. Right. So the guests, I was like, hey, this guest asked for coffee. And all of a sudden, this lady comes in. And she said he can go fuck himself. No. Oh, okay, good. That, oh, no, not that bad. No. no, it got weirder than that. So she, oh, so, shit. So, so she goes, oh, well, I'm like the activities advisor. So I'll get, I know who you're talking about. Because all I had of a description, because when he said, get me a cup of coffee. Right. He walked off. Before I had a chance to be like, do he I was need- like sugar lips there. He yeah. well, give me well, a cup of coffee as he stuck his thumb in your mouth. Mm. Well, because well, the, well, the other part of it too was I didn't know the procedure because it's COVID, so I didn't know right. if we were delivering the coffee to his room, mm. what his name was, anything. Mm-hmm. I just knew he wore, he just wore like a a bowl cap. You right. know what I mean? So I go into the kitchen and this lady comes up to me. And she's and she says, "Can I help you?" And I said, "Oh yeah, uh, this." gentleman this guest asked me for a cup of coffee and she said oh okay and i said yeah he has like a bowl cap or whatever and she was just Mm -hmm. like oh i know who that is but in the meantime can you blow up this balloon for me because in the meantime can you blow up this balloon for me yes because she was allergic to latex but i'm sitting here while she's getting this old guy a cup of coffee and i'm just sitting there blowing up a balloon i'm like none of this is my job and i'm still on my break like what the heck is going on right so then later that day this is the same day Mm -hmm. i come outside and this uh other guest this elderly lady Mm -hmm. she she goes can you can you get somebody and i said yeah what's up and she says 
Gary over there has been there for a long time. Uh-huh. And that's how she phrased it. So I'm assuming she just meant that he died in his chair sitting on the patio. And I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that because I work in the kitchen. Right. So I don't know if I'm supposed to get like hospitality services to like wheel him quietly into the furnace downstairs that uh-huh. I am concerned we are running a Sweeney Todd situation. Ew, We're are just you gonna... feeding the elderly elderly. That's what I'm no, saying. Technically, man. technically he's not. <laughs> I'm the, not. Uh, the other kitchen. I just keep. The... We're oh, just, you can't see my uh, fingers, but quotation the other kitchen is what's going we're, on. Here. I'm waiting for the mystery meat to show up. I'm just saying they wheel them off. No, but so anyway, so she goes, "Can you, can you know, can you get somebody to check on Gary? He's been there a while, and right. it's literally this old man in a wheelchair who's been sunning himself, but he looks like he's not breathing. All of a sudden, he goes, <gasps> and she's like, "Oh, he's fine." Stop. <laughs> yes. Stop. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god and that was my first day and i went oh boy <laughs> yo at least, dude, at least you're not the one like cleaning their shit or whatever i don't know i don't think that's the, the worst part i think actually having to clean the body would be like oh i well, guess just dragging someone just dragging a dead body of an old person across there just it's oh man but like I just keep thinking about like the dungeon thing. I'm just like that is really creepy. Because like I said, those did you are, ask? Did you blatantly ask? Like just say like, hey, is there a fucking dungeon here? I felt like there was a no like. I don't think you don't asked. Ask that on your yeah, you don't. You know, well, because like the, that's I, like two week thing. You don't ask on your oh. first day. We, we had, like, well, two weeks. Well, because the other thing too is that supposedly the dungeon, mm-hmm. which I'm just gonna call it that now. So right. the dungeon supposedly is supposed to be for, like the high risk. You mm-hmm. know, so the ones that with Alzheimer's, dementia is the ones that right. are most likely to They're going to swing at you. Yeah, swing at you, wander Sorry, away. Sorry, uh, not everyone works at your job where people are swinging at you, okay? You'd be surprised. People swing all the time. I, I've never got swung at any oh, of my by, jobs. Oh, by the way, speaking of swinging on people, so... And I in, work with alcohol, so... Well, as I was gonna say, well, speaking of swinging on people, yeah. it was so funny. So I had to take an ethics test right. before I got this job. But 95% of this ethics test was, mm. would you rob an old person? Would you beat an old person? If given the situation, what is your first action? Beat an old person, swing on an old person, rob an old person, spit in their food. I was just like, good Lord, what do they think I'm doing here? They were like, and that's I mean, how they, it, it and that's how they find, the yeah, I was and that's how they find cooks for the other kitchen, right? Obviously, you did not qualify for that other kitchen. I did not the qualify. Dungeon. I did not qualify for the dungeon. <laughs> like, I mean, it does pertain to the. I'm thinking, I'm like, you know, it's funny now that I think about that's it. That's the like, only. That's the only reason you would ask those questions if you're trying to find people that would do this stuff for the other kitchen. See, because oh. because now I'm thinking, because now now that you say that, um, if we're making all the food upstairs. Then what are the actual cooks downstairs doing? Is it just a gladiatorial pit? So they're like training to make sure that these old people don't swing on them. Oh, no, they're the butchers, man. They're cutting up the dead See, bodies. When you said that, now I picture old people fighting to the death <laughs> in the dungeon. And it sounds boring. <laughs> <laughs> well, That's yeah. the worst part. <laughs> it's like that. It's like that scene from Family Guy when it's the 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 two guy. It's the grandpa, the creepy grandpa, and. They get like the Herbert. neighbor Herbert Herbert yeah, Herbert Herbert Herbert. Yeah. Herbert, yeah. Herbert Herbert and then like the the guy who used to be like a Nazi general or whatever and mm-hmm. they recognize each other because uh, Herbert is Ju- is Jewish and so uh, or he was Jewish or he was an American soldier or something he was like. Jewish <laughs> so, no 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 I'm just saying like not that those shouldn't go hand in hand or whatever right but he was like it was somehow they recognized each other right right and nobody believed him that he was a Nazi mm-hmm. and then eventually. Uh, somehow the episode ends in like the world's slowest fight to the death because they recognized each other. So they old man kicked the shit out of each other. But the whole thing is done like in slow mo, you know, because they're old. Like everything else is still they didn't like turn on superpowers and run super fast. It was like the world still moved at the same pace, but they were just slowly hitting each other and everything was like. And, and like the way that. the way Family Guy drags things on, that sounds really annoying. Yeah, it. But it was it was yeah, it was one of those things. It was funny for the first minute, and then when the fight continued for like three minutes, you were like, okay, Dude, they dragged Wait, shit three on minutes? way. It too was long. like yeah, it probably it, felt like it. Well, oh it, it? yeah. But yeah, it was definitely just like it was like okay, guys, come and, on. We, and we that's get... why I started watching American Dad instead. <laughs> I feel like they do the same thing too, though. 
they they don't. Ever since they left Fox, they now that they're TBS. I think they've they um, what's the word I'm looking for? They have more to work with. They can do pretty much whatever they want. Oh, I See, feel like Family I Guy be, already does whatever they want. Kind of, uh, but then but then it became like Fox things. Mm. Kind of, but then it kind of became formulaic. I because that's that's kind of how it feels. Not to go back to the same thing, but mm-hmm. that's how it feels at my new job. Is, I, I so let me ask you. Oh, you can finish up with like your new job. Well, I was just saying. So my so at my new job, and it's not a complaint. It's just telling the news. So when I first got there, uh, it was just like, okay, like, what are your skills? What can you do? Okay, you know how to cook. All right, awesome. Uh, so, like, let's just say, for example, make the meatloaf. And I said, okay, do you guys have a recipe? And they're like, well, you know how to cook. Just make the meatloaf. And I was like, well, you, there's no, like, standard to it or whatever. And they're like, You're no. You're shitting me. By the way, but for those, wa- you know, obviously we're not visual. My yeah. brother's or Jose's eyes just Lit got up. so big when he said that for some reason because <laughs> that's so unprofessional like not even like here's the recipe that we always use yeah no it was it was literally everybody makes the meatloaf <laughs> differently depending well, I mean, they, on who's if you're cooking it. old people like why do you need a recipe that, and that's how it feels it's i like can imagine this. james fucking it up and all the old people go god damn it it's james and the meatloaf today <laughs> Shit, we're going hungry today what's like an old lady named Priscilla, we're going hungry today. Fuck, <laughs> fuck life. Well, see, here's the thing, though. If they don't want to order what's like... So so it's still planned. In, it's it's a weird controlled chaos. So some of the stuff is planned. Like, Wednesday will be meatloaf night. You know, the, mm-hmm. the head chef is the one who's supposed to be like, this is what we get. They change up the menu, not by a lot. But even if the guests don't want what's on the menu, mm-hmm. they can still order whatever. They can order a hamburger, a sandwich, a hot dog, whatever. Oh. But then even still, when it's something as easy as a hot dog, mm-hmm. like half the, st- apparently there's a division in the staff. Some prefer to boil the hot dog while others will just throw it Ew. in the deep fryer. Whoa. Why can't you just grill the fucking hot dog? Yeah. The, wait, the two options, the two options are, are yes. fry it and boil it. Well, no one thought the, about grilling well, it there, at all. There is, there is the slight niche that you drop it in the fryer, then you grill it. What? The what? I, fuck? Yeah, I don't know I've, about that. honestly, I've never heard about that. I've never heard about <laughs> frying a hot dog ever. Oh man, it was like well, I said. Well, you could fry anything basically. Well, I mean, yeah. You go, you go to a fair. Come on, you, there's things you never thought about frying. Okay, like, but let's oh, put, let, let me put it stick, this way: too. I've never heard it be so common that half the kitchen would be divided by it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Usually, it's the one guy in the corner, like, "Let's fry this." Or like, "No, Chad, go home, stop eating paste." <laughs> and instead, it's like half the kitchen's like, "You know what? That doesn't sound so bad." What the fuck? Yes. <laughs> what school did you guys go to? <laughs> I I get the, you know, it's one of those things where I get the slight feeling that <laughs> half the people only know what they're doing there because the the reason I call it controlled chaos is because people are just doing things because that's the way it's always been. It mm. didn't have to make sense. That's right. just how it's been. You so should make it make sense. I, I want to, but... But I've you don't only, get paid enough. I've I only, hear you. I I've only you. been there five days. So mm. I'm pretty sure if I kicked down the door and said, buy from different vendors to save money, which would give you more money, because mm. here's the other thing. If we're just out of something, they could just... Tough titties. If we don't have French fries that day, we just don't have French fries because either somebody forgot to order it which is like apparently up to like three people. It's not one person ordering everything. Right. And then like, like I said, half the stuff is like out of the freezer or like some of the cool things is that yes, we will, we will physically make like the meatloaf or the Cuban pork or so it's nice. So in that regards, we'll make the stuff, but 90 other percent of the things I'm telling you mystery meat. And I'm they, scared. And they can't and they can't get enough of it. And like but some of the other things too is because yeah. because the guests live there and I'm pretty sure it's like in their contract, you know, when they're signing their life away, uh they can also just if we have it on hand, they can just order whatever they want half the time if right. we have it on hand. Right. So like are uh, they allowed to order out? Like if they got money, like can they personally be like, "Yo, I'm going to call on this pizza. Fuck you I guys." I think I think it's just easier for them to order from the kitchen oh. cuz I got I I've literally oh, got. I've more. seen people like go and like for Postmates and something like that. The elderly homes. Reads, they'll deliver uh, to places like that. They really. Want I actually. Oh, okay. You know what's funny? I actually saw like a Instacart person show up the other day. 
at the at the establishment. Yeah, because what fucking old guy is gonna want to go to a Walmart and go through every aisle and lift all those bags? That's true. Oh, speaking of, because because where also, I fuck work, Postmates. especially because where I work is like, an you know a senior living facility. Right. They also like put uh, like senior living facilities like next to each other. So I when I drive down the street to go to work, it's just I'm dodging old people. I was driving. I was driving. Wait, what? I was driving home. <laughs> okay, maybe I just want to clear something up. When you say you're dodging old people, do you mean like they're in their wheelchairs? Or you're like going around an obstacle course. Like you're about to run somebody over. Or you're just saying or a lot driving, of them. Allow me. They're also driving, and you're like swerving on traffic. Allow me to elaborate. No, okay. fuck that. I like guessing. <laughs> I like assuming shit. No, no, no. Because you guys are. I, I like the obstacle g- course with people in wheelchairs. <laughs> you guys, you guys aren't off either of you. So. It's in Huntington Beach, where apparently people have lost their goddamn minds and they don't know how to drive. Also, also, yes, I literally had to dodge. I I had to slam on my brakes because this older gentleman went to 7-Eleven to get a six-pack of beer. He just, it was like... Shut up from the old home? Like he like no, no, was no. able to the, go out. Well, to yeah, get... well, because it's like next to a strip mall and where there's a Seven Eleven. Right. So he drove his you know wheelchair to the because it's automatic wheelchair. So he drove his wheelchair to Seven Eleven. Was coming down. It's already like seven thirty to eight, almost eight o'clock. So it's nearly dark. Wait, morning. Oh, right. Okay, okay. It's nearly dark, and he just free formed that shit. He just drove. Straight down the road. Wait, so he's allowed to leave the the facility? Well, I think he was from the facility across the street. Uh-huh. That's what I was saying. I like they don't give a fuck. They're like fucking live on the street. Well, Wants to buy I'm beer, hold even on, better. Hold on. hold on, this is what happened. He had the beer. I'm driving this way. He drove just straight across the street. Mm-hmm. No warning. No care in the world. I think he was hoping I was gonna hit him, and then when I, when I, pump, <laughs> I mean, bro, when I, you, when I pump, pump no the brakes, say shit like if you're that, that old, here's you're... the best part. When I pump the brakes, yes, flip me off. Hilarious. I like that. And didn't he didn't even skip a beat too. He was still propelling himself towards his destination. Just, dude, you should have met him. You should have parked and be like, <laughs> you're fucking badass. <laughs> I mean, at that point, it's kind of a compliment. Yes. <laughs> it just, it was the greatest thing I'd never think yeah, I'd see in my life. How dare you not run me over, motherfucker? Like, right? come on. <laughs> you know how long I've been waiting for this? <laughs> <laughs> I told myself today was going to be the day, and of course, you had to ruin it. Maybe that's what the beer was for. He was going to combine the beer with his medication and like... Overdose? <laughs> Fuck. Okay, now you better that be actually dark. died now. Like we're we're joking around and he went home and yeah, mixed alcohol with medication. Hey valid. man, if no one's checking on Gary, he's just turning into beef <laughs> jerky. So that's the other thing. Oh, see, hold on, let me go check out. Gary, you okay? <laughs> Gary? Oh, there you go. All right, he's fine. All right, we're good. All Speaking right, of right. another incidents where something like that happened. This is all in five days, mind you. Oh uh, yeah. I have to keep remembering yeah. that. It's all in five days. Yeah. So I was clocking out for my lunch and it's a 30 minute lunch, right? Mm-hmm. So there was an elderly guest, a gentleman, sitting in his chair, not moving in mm-hmm. the hallway. Mm-hmm. And he was just <laughs> sitting there. And I went, okay, not my pay grade, not my job. So yes. I'm just mm-hmm. going to, he looks content. He's just sitting in the hallway. He's not causing any problems. Right. So then I go punch out. 30 minutes later, come back from my lunch. And he's choking the chicken. He's still sitting there. Oh, okay. Till a nurse finally walked up to him and said. And then he started choking the chicken once the nurse showed up. No. Right. no. I respect and that. And she was like, she was like, <laughs> she was, she was like, oh, are you trying to get into your room? And he just kind of listlessly looked up at her and was just like, uh-huh. Dude, you've been, si- I don't. I don't know how long he was there before I even went on my lunch. Yo. He could have been sitting there for like three hours. Dude, fuck. Just trying to get into his room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To choke the chicken, obviously. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. still. Because, I mean, what else you got going for you? Although, you have to move the colostomy bag out of the way. Was it that bad that he had a... He was just... He was just... But, I mean, like, we're talking like... Like, you know, what was that guy? The Crypt Keeper? Like, Crypt Keeper, like... Oh, shit. That's old, Like, yeah. frail... Like, pretty rough. Yikes. Oh, the other thing, too, is, uh, you know, it's just like, so Jermaine was saying how, oh, I would feel bad if he's dead now. I wouldn't be shocked because the way the staff talks about the guests, that's kind of how it feels. Because it's like, oh, I like Cheryl. What happened to Cheryl? Oh, she died. 
And it was just like, oh, well, what happened to Mer- what happened to Meredith? I I liked her. Oh, well, she tripped. Oh no, was she okay? Oh no, she died. <laughs> and then it was like, oh well, but they're so used to it, they're desensitized. Yeah, right? and yeah. so that's it was like it was like four. Th- there was like four or five conversations just like that, and they were back to back. Oh, yeah. what happened to so and so? Are the nurses cute? Uh there's it's a mixed bag. Okay. I would I think say that's that, anywhere you go. That's, that's true. Like I would actually say it, it, it's a mixed bag, but I would definitely say there are there are attractive women who work there. Right. But except for the seven a.m. crew at the Shady Lady, am I right? But no, like, am I right? but like ninety percent. But Put like, your hand down. but like ninety percent of them <laughs> are go. like either engaged, married, or you know, with you know, have a boyfriend or partner. Right. So it's like. Yeah, that's cool, you know. Right. Like for instance, like the uh what was it? The uh one of the girls and I and I feel bad about this cuz I have a girlfriend, but there's it's so funny. Uh so there's the Sorry if you're listening by the way. So there's not sorry. So there's like a I guess the dining service manager mm-hmm. is like this tall, thin uh Latin. I'm going to say Latin cuz she knows how to speak Spanish, but she's like fair. Okay. So I, w- I don't know if I'd lob her in with Mexican, but right. Hispanic. Right. But she speaks like perfect Spanish. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, the body. She mm-hmm. is like top notch, right? But then. <laughs> Picture her is not real. But then. But, but then now, okay. But then, but then, um, but then the other day when she went into the break room. So the only time we're allowed to take off our masks is when we're on break or just not around the guests. So right. I had never seen her full face. She has a mustache. No, she looks like a horse. Yo. Like, it was like everything was perfect. She had great hair, right. great skin. Oh, she, so like a real horse. Yeah, so she so she looked great. So cool, you ride her during the Kentucky Derby and finish but, it first. There you go. But it was, so, but it, but it was weird, though, because it wasn't like long in the sense that it's like it came to a snout. It was right. long as in like, it looked like ancient aliens where it's like her jaw structure looked off. Interesting. And so I was just, so she took off the mask to take her break. And I was just like, I was like, huh. But then she puts the mask back on and I just walk around going dad ass though. <laughs> but then I'm like, remember and then you spent 30 minutes trying to find a room so you could choke the chicken. So the nurse <laughs> helps you out. Mm-hmm. No, that's okay. Wait, the nurse helps you find a room or choke the chicken. <laughs> Why not both? <laughs> I like it. But well, no, because then like, because then I'm reminded I'm working at a place of death. Because then I'll like walk out to the like. But that's a good way to go. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Let's just say that the uh, let's just say the effort gets lost when you're going to the bathroom and you meet ten, <laughs> ten people who are asking you for coffee or are trying not to die on the patio. Yeah, Greg. <laughs> Freaking Greg. <laughs> Dude, I feel like I don't know. I mean, you don't have to deal directly with it because you're just you know kitchen staff. Yeah, and and if this podcast Before, if this podcast makes it sound like I'm coming off as I don't like old people, it is not true. I'm very patient. I like I like them. And but apparently, they like you de- by flipping you off in the middle of the street with their six pack. To be fair, I had not met him face to face. He didn't. By the way, he didn't even look. He just saw the headlights. And like I said, full blown, like a G, drove. <laughs> drove knew i had slammed my brakes because of the headlights Mm -hmm. and just not even turn didn't even look didn't even look what a badass (laughs) what a badass respect i respect that right so yeah so that has been some of my work adventures again Uh, five days (laughs) five days but like what but but you know what though it keeps it alive because because like i think that was a horrible use of the phrase right now Tasteless, oh, really. Let me let me have. <laughs> Tasteless, didn't even really. think about that till you brought it up. So I was gonna say like I was, but it keeps it fresh. I guess if that's mm. even better. I mean, right. not unless you're talking about Gary, who's still sitting on the patio. Gary, 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 you doing okay? <laughs> Gary's fine. All right, cool. Let's continue. To yeah. be to be fair though, I I I saw why the lady had concern because <laughs> he looked like he had been in the sun for a while, so he was starting to kind of roughly look sizzle. like beef I just, jerky. I just starting to sizzle. I'm just picturing the look <laughs> in her eyes because the way you made it seem was like she literally had like the fear, like the biggest fear. She in her did. Eyes. Yeah. She did because, like I said, the way she phrased it and the way she looked, I was assuming she just wanted me to wheel a dead body off the patio, but. Uh, well, either way, I forgot where so I was going. So what would you have done in that scenario if, she, if he was actually dead? What would you do? 
I wasn't going to touch a dead body. Yeah, that's way above his pay grade. Was yeah. that one of the questions you were supposed to answer? To say, hey, would you touch a dead body? I don't think so. And this is why you're not ever... working in the other kitchen, James. Congratulations. <laughs> this is why This is why I'm not in the uh, Thunderdome. <laughs> in the Thunderdome. <laughs> Like I said, man, there's got to be some kind of shady Sweeney Todd thing going on. Like, we're just dropping bodies down there. Maybe. And they're getting turned into mystery meat. And that's why no one cares about the meatloaf recipe. Because, like, when it's body parts, who cares? To be, f- serve it. to be fair, before this podcast, I needed something to eat. So we went to 7-Eleven. I saw those hot dogs at the 7-Eleven. Uh-huh. And I'm like, a hot dog looks pretty good right now. And then all I could think was back to... My job, where like, either they're boiling it or, or frying, frying it. it. <laughs> that makes no sense to me. That makes you grill the shit. The first thing when you think of a hot dog is you grill that fucking shit, and that's not one of the options you're fighting for. <laughs> and even then, you're about to say niche. You said niche, and you're like, is to fry it first, then grill it. Like what? The fuck? Oh man, this is uh... yeah. Because then, because then, like the cooking times are off, right? So if a guest, so if a guest wants like fresh pasta we have to like uh, like unless they ask for something fresh we have to it has to be like within five minutes of the order whatever but then also that's kind of laxed people just kind of get their food when they get their food but i think that's going to change when the dining room opens back up which Mm. is unfortunately tomorrow when i get back nice no yeah i like it so i'm looking forward to the faster pace because a lot of the prep work is very mind numbing because it's like chop me 40 pounds of onions cut me 17 pounds of celery you know well ladies and gentlemen thank you for listening this is the triple (laughs) j show and this has become venting for james yeah (laughs) i'm just i like it again we got to learn about the 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 little dungeon they have in retirement homes i wonder if every retirement home has that now again i enjoy my job this is not a complaint this is just reporting the news. Dude, we're not even having this like posted <laughs> on podcast. We're sending it straight to your boss and be like, "What the <laughs> shit you fucker saying? Fire his ass today!" And for the love of God, is Greg okay? Is he alive? <laughs> you keep changing his name. No one's gonna check on Gary. Don't even tell him. Gary. Don't even tell him over. Th- is he really that important? Who gives a fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently not, because they left him to sizzle outside like a piece of bacon. Flip him over. Flip him over. <laughs> Flip him over. <laughs> He's in a wheelchair. So, so what would then that you even flip him over. Like? Flip him over. That's even, fine. Yeah. Even it's easier. Shit. <laughs> you just knock him down. <laughs> All right. Get the body bag. <laughs> Good God. All right. We're gonna, I'm, we got to change the subject because that's just fucking depressing. <laughs> Fuck that. I don't know. We've Fuck been laughing a lot. <laughs> okay. So what was the original? What were we even going to talk about? That, honestly, that, it was, this, this was the podcast right now. That, that was the that podcast. That was the podcast. Okay, okay, well, okay, since, I'll, I'll since, that's, since that's pretty much that's going to work, I, I did want to talk about this. Have you seen, like, kind of, like, the kind of rise of, like, men talk shows and, like, men podcasts, like, talking, I don't know if you guys heard this complain, phrase, like, complain, red... Complain, complain red, about elderly people? No, 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 <laughs> like, red pilling and blue pilling and talking about, like, how women are crazy and... Talking about like men had, this and men that. Have you have you seen all that shit? I no. haven't I haven't seen no? it, but I I had a theory in college. Now follow mm-hmm. me on this. Okay. Mm-hmm. So and don't worry, it's very short. This is not going to be another two hour rant about old people. Okay. But my theory in college was basically women are crazy. Yes. But also because men are dumb, and it's only because men are so dumb. We're willing to put up with women's crazy. I don't know about that, but yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much that's pretty, and that's what makes it work. What Otherwise, we would eat each other, <laughs> like the old people in the other <laughs> kitchen in the dungeon. The in dungeon. the dungeon. But what do you mean by red and blue pill? Oh, okay. So, oh, it's like would you go down the rabbit hole, or would you rather return to monotony? No, I don't. Uh, yeah, it, it is in reference to the Matrix kind of thing. But um, well, that's the only time anybody uses that reference. Yes. yes. So these podcasts or these shows or whatever are pretty much kind of in response of like, I guess, this time period of women like being like, oh, I want to uh, I'm strong and I'm independent and I, I need a man who um, I don't know, but just kind of like this very. I was like, be, be very careful what you say I know. Next. No, no, not even that. No, I'm actually trying to, I'm I'm trying to find this one out, honestly. I'm, I'm, I, don't, I don't see how this could end well at all. I'm like, I'm trying to find the words of, of like how women. Um, and we've said some fucked up things. Yes, we have. Yes, we have. Our podcast no, no, no. But basically uh, of kind of like how, how women are these days. It's kind of, I guess it's kind of just 
an observation that they're saying of like because they talk about all sorts of women they talk about um women who decide to be housewives they talk about um women right now who who just do like the instagram modeling shit and they're and you know what i'm saying and then there's women that they talk about women who are very highly educated and but like they go over the thing but i i guess what they're doing is um i guess it's just in response of like how like pro women today's day and age is like i don't, no, I, I don't know I can, like, they, I they, 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 it's, a, it's a critique on it and and like one of the things that they that they talk about or like they they smash on is like these women who do instagram modeling but they're looking for this guy who is um makes six figures like six makes foot six tall. Figures, six foot tall and like very young and then like these guys will bring out this basically they bring on guests and they just wail on them and they talk about like okay let's let's hear about what you want and they're like okay do you know there's only um like a small percentage of this men that actually fit what you just said. So what makes you think that you deserve this 1% guy when you're not a 1% woman? I mean, it's kind of like, if you think about it, it kind of also leads to that. Like the whole technology thing, people mm -hmm. feel like they're entitled to a lot of stuff. We yes. got, we got yes. a, yes, a lot of that. A lot of that happens. So I think what you're seeing is the blend of female empowerment, which though in itself is not negative can mm -hmm. like anything else be taken to a negative point yes yes plus you added the whole idea that they're now so they're empowered they're uh what was the other thing i said they're entitled mm -hmm. so they're empowered they're mm -hmm. entitled and what's their job to mm -hmm. look good mm -hmm. so they're probably not that smart but not in the sense that you're thinking like they can't right. read or something right. but it's just like it's like how did the kardashians get popular right right you know and how did they stay popular right. my girlfriend accidentally turned on the tv and uh it was left on a it was left on a channel mm -hmm. and it had uh the, mm -hmm. the keeping up with the kardashians she could not leap to the uh she could not leap to the remote fast enough because i sat there and i had so many questions and just stared at it like the abyss that it was right and went what and before my head exploded she changed it to a cartoon i swear to god that's what happened because i think she saw the blood coming out of my eyes and my nose and my ears from being like this is so fucking stupid i would rather watch a cartoon than watch keeping up with the fucking kardashians because they're literal them talking literally <laughs> so i'm literally hurting. waiting for james to finish to open my beer but yeah <laughs> yeah like a, there we go there it is but i mean right. but i mean i guess like in the end if you can get famous doing that then why wouldn't you all right Papa, Papa Jermaine's about to give you guys some wise Hold on, words. Hold on, wait, 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 yeah. wait. Let me, let, me, let me keep going. All right. I'm because, gonna... because, okay, so these, sorry, I hit the mic. So these shows, like a lot of them We're... do do say, like a lot of them do say a lot of truthful things and a lot of them go over the line and are rude. But I feel like that's just in response of like, of like the kind of culture, the shit that we're in, like cancel culture, like right. they like they address cancel culture and they address of like, um, like just like the extreme, like the extreme views of some people of saying like, oh no, men aren't shit. Like it's again like how you were saying like like the empowerment of women, cool, nothing negative about that. And then they like took it over. Like it was like yeah, not only are, are women great, but fuck men, they ain't shit. You're like, whoa, time out, pump the brakes, hold up, we went too far, you lost me. Actually, I was. Uh, it's funny that you also mentioned that because it bring it brings to mind a conversation I was having mm -hmm. with my girlfriend, mm -hmm. and something about somehow the conversation ended with being like yes women have gotten some women not all women mm -hmm. you know there mm -hmm. is a mutual there is a medium my girlfriend and i were we've been together for a long time mm -hmm. we gel really well she's mm -hmm. an intelligent woman i enjoy mm -hmm. her company mm -hmm. she enjoys my company mm -hmm. for whatever stupid reason um and we you know it i i feel like our relationship is kind of like what should be kind of like what should be like the world's synergy like our synergy is so good mm -hmm. when people say like you found the one mm -hmm. that's how it should feel it shouldn't be difficult it's kind of easy we've maybe had three arguments but again we're not those are rookie numbers bro you gotta that's bring those numbers up bro that's what i'm saying like but again we're not um you know, we we didn't get pregnant. We're not married. We haven't had like. Yeah, I it'd guess. be really weird if you got pregnant, James. Just well, saying. I mean, to be fair, if the viewers could see me, they'd be they'd argue that point. <laughs> Which is why our next let's play is not actually gonna have video. <laughs> um, but uh, the point I was making was, uh, see, you threw me off with that one. Uh, there was a point I was gonna make, but the 
but she, uh, the conversation that we mm-hmm. had mm-hmm. ended with, okay, so there's a bunch of dumb apes that keep trying to stick it to you. Mm-hmm. You get a little embittered too after so many years. Yes, of it. yes, <laughs> yes, and yes, I I agree. And like I said, like this stuff is just in response to something. You know, what, right. you see what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. Well, Papa, now can I talk? Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Papa Jermaine's <laughs> about to drop I, some wise words. How wise? I don't know because I'm the only single one out of the three of us in this room. Uh-huh. I'm gonna say this: If you're an Instagram model, if you're really hot, and you want a guy that's making seven figures, six figures athletic has a great job at one percent more power to you because i always feel like you're if you you're gonna get you're not gonna get ah, how do i phrase this i had a I and mean, i started drinking and forgot what i was gonna say right now if you want something the only way you're gonna get it is by going for it if you want a one percenter good to have that attitude maybe you don't get it maybe you do but the, you're not gonna get it if you think like oh maybe i'll just settle kind of thing See and th- and that's and that's the right like that's the right way to to word something, but like these these some of these ep- like podcasts these guys are brutal. They won't say that they're like fuck you. You don't deserve a one percent. <laughs> like damn, yeah, but, bro. Then, but then not then even again, not even, But see, he's but he said the same exact same thing. But you know, kind of like it's like I mean, go for it. Doesn't mean you're gonna get it. But yeah, go for it. The, like the first it, thing of the way to get it is you gotta try first, right? But, it re- but, it but, reminds I, me. Yeah, I was gonna say. Bro, it re- but I'm gonna say there's also there's and. I don't know this personally because I don't know these people, but a lot of the people in general are, there's always going to be a sense of bitterness because, you know, even like the highest paid athletes, like the most in shape, the yes. most famous athletes mm-hmm. always hit on these Instagram girls mm-hmm. and they even get rejected sometimes. Right. So, you know, there's going to be some podcasters that have, and I don't doubt this at all. Mm-hmm. They have tried to hit up Instagram later. It was like, Hey, I'm so-and-so come meet me. And they're like, no, thank you. And there's going to be a little bit of bitterness yes. coming from their part, too, being yeah, like, yeah, yeah. oh, who are you to get a top one percenter? I'm like, no, if, if you feel like you if you want a one percenter, mm-hmm. go for it. Yeah. The, don't don't let anyone else be like, oh, you know, the, you know, you they just put them down like, oh, why do you deserve it? Like, no, if you feel like you deserve it, then you deserve it. Go for it. I feel like- you're just going to end up settling. You know, you're not you're never going to be happy. I, feel I, like- I, I agree. With, I agree with that. But with the disclaimer of but if you find out that you can't get it, even though you tried. You need to be okay with that. Yeah. You need to be okay with failing. Yeah. And not and not just start going not oh. not blaming that well, person. Well, no. Well, here's the thing. Now you're talking about famous people, and here's no, no. I'm talking about no, regular no. people. Yeah. Yeah. Regular I, I, people. I, for someone who and my brother knows me very well, someone who like has I've been called shallow before. You I are? am someone. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I am shallow. As someone who puts their their beliefs on what a woman what they want in a woman very high. Yes, I have failed numerous times. I, and but it, and as much as it sucks, as much as it hurts, and much as it bothers me sometimes. Well, don't start crying. I'm not gonna start crying. Okay. It's not that, okay. I haven't been drinking enough yet. Okay. Pour some tequila. <laughs> maybe you'll see a few tears. Okay, okay. <laughs> as much as I like, uh, see, you just drew off my thought process on that. As much as I failed, as much as all that stuff, I just I just said mm-hmm. I don't know what I said because I, I you know. All I'm saying is that there's truth to both sides, and like I said about these podcasts that are that are like like just fucking rail on women that was in response of the movement that women were starting now i'm not saying women started it that woman but like the heavy like response of women being like men ain't shit that was in response to something and then that was in response to something else it's the overcorrection that's all it is yes and it, it just, i don't know but, i don't know i mean at the same time it's like who are these podcasters that feel like they you know could judge other people too who are know. they to be like you know what what i'm saying is right you know you should feel bad because I think this way, kind of thing. Well, I mean, they got famous enough to. It, again, and the same, but the same thing for the women. They got famous enough to where they're in a position where they could feel like they could make this, this mm-hmm. like they could be picky about who they date. Mm-hmm. So who are the podcasters? The same. You don't think the podcasters are picky about who they date too? I'm sure. No, yeah. I'm sure. It's it's a it's an ego battle, and I just choose not to participate. Mm. So. And then someone had to bring it up in this podcast, and now here we are participating. Well, it was interesting because it <laughs> was coming up on my feed, and I'm just like. I'm just like, man, because again, when you look at both videos from both women and men, I'm like, they make a point. And, but there's a lot of parts in the video where just like, all right, everybody slow down. <laughs> like, everybody calm down. Why is everybody so heated right now? But the because other th- it does feel like a personal attack on people. Yeah. I'm sure like the, yeah, yeah, yeah. but also, but also too, we're now the society where you can't say anything without walking on eggshells. Mm-hmm. So it's like when it feels ex- so when it feels extreme, the overcorrection is to be more extreme. Yeah. And the next thing you know, everything just gets That's out of hand. That's true. 
I think fine. this is a good spot to end the podcast. Okay. Because we got into like after joking around about old people dying, we've got yes. into like a serious topic. Uh, so yeah. we could end it right here. Yeah. All I'm gonna say is, you know, shoot for the stars because when you actually succeed in you know what you're looking for, it's the best feeling in the world. Mm-hmm. That being said, Ariana Grande, come on, you have nothing to lose anymore. Call me. Let's let's, <laughs> let's make this happen. Please I don't. Think, I, think I know my brother. Please don't. I don't think, give him a I think she still has like a boatload more money than you. But we just got saying that, hey, don't focus on that 1% shit. Also, just, she uh, did used to date The weekend, so there's that, too. She didn't date The weekend. Oh, no, that's Selena, that's Selena Gomez. Gomez. That's Selena Gomez. Yeah, Selena Gomez. Yeah, wrong person. She dated Big Sean, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to compete with that. Yeah, I don't know if you're going to be able to compete with somebody called Big Sean. Fine. From this day forward, Let's just say he wasn't. on this podcast, I will be referred to as Big Jermaine. No, you will not. No, oh, you fine. will not. Guys, well, guys <laughs> you, thank you, you so much you... for listening to this stupidness. <laughs> Jermaine will remain Jermaine. No, he's he'll not remain J3. He'll remain, he's J3, especially after that comment. You were actually doing really well, and then that fucking comment fucked you up. <laughs> <laughs> I have been J1. I'm Jose, and that was J2. James. And thank you guys for listening, and hopefully we'll catch you guys next time. Don't kill old people. Bye.